We wouldn't be educators if we didn't have an acronym or two in our vocabulary, especially as educators moving daily toward a more digital environment. We have created a virtual alphabet soup. The following acronyms have been highlighted in our virtual alphabet soup series. Video one focuses on the DCP or digital classroom plan. Video two highlights ISTE, the International Society of Technology Education. And video three explores GAF or Google Apps for Education. And now for the final video in the series, TIM or Technology Integration Matrix. If the digital classroom plan serves as the blueprint, ISTE sets the standards we teach and Google Apps for Education provides the tools. I like to think of the TIM, the Technology Integration Matrix, as a framework for how we teach. The TIM gives kindergarten through 12th grade teachers a way to plan, implement, and evaluate technology in the classroom. At first glance, it will look a bit complex, but let me help you simplify the 5x5 five five matrix. The actual matrix can be found at fcit.usf dot edu forward slash matrix. Then click on matrix. See, I told you, at first glance it can be a bit overwhelming. Hang in there. I'll break it down for you. In fact, this video will be part one of a two-part video. It will just cover the top row of the matrix. The top row moves through five levels of technology integration in the curriculum. Entry level, Adoption, Adaptation, Infusion, and Transformation. A great analogy for these descriptors is the transition a teacher makes from first year teaching to maybe a more seasoned teacher. I was a lot like the entry level as a first year teacher. I stood and delivered the content. My students listened or watched. We built fluency with basic facts and skills. Decisions about how and when to use the tools, as well as which tools to be used, were made by me, the teacher. As I moved through my first year teaching, I developed a lot like the adoption level. I began to teach procedures. At the adoption level on the TIM, technology tools are used in conventional ways. The teacher makes the decisions about which technology tool to use and when and how to use it. Student exposure to individual technology tools may be limited to single types of tasks that involve a procedural understanding. As my teaching matured and I grew more comfortable, I was similar to the adaptation level. I became more of a facilitator. I still made most of the decisions, but I guided the students in the learning. With the TIM, students have a greater familiarity with the use of technology tools and have a more conceptual understanding of the tools than students at the adoption level. They are able to work without direct instruction from the teacher and begin to explore different ways of using technology. As time passed, I became the guide on the side, just as the infusion level on the TIM. I used a lot of different resources and they were integrated seamlessly into teaching and learning. Why? Because I had experience. Hey, I knew my stuff. The infusion level on the TIM has the instructional focus on student learning and not on the teaching tools themselves. For this reason, infusion level work typically occurs after teachers and students have experience with a particular technology tool. On good days, I was rocking the transformation level. At this stage in my teaching career, I guided my students. I tried hard to facilitate higher order learning activities. And honestly, it was my hope students would apply that understanding and knowledge. And so it was with the Tim's transformational level. Students are encouraged to use technology tools in unconventional ways and are self-directed in combining the use of various tools. So I hope that helped the analogy of a teacher from entry level to transformation. It's the growth mindset, 
Just as he wouldn't want the beginning teacher to stop growing, we need to continue moving along the levels of technology integration in the curriculum. As we close out this video, spend a few short minutes reviewing the top row. Click on the interactive links under each of the five levels. Each level has a page that provides greater detail. Descriptors for typical teacher activity, student activity, and instructional settings are provided, along with links to each level with video lesson pages. Go play! The Part 2 video of the Technology Integration Matrix will explore the characteristics of the learning environment and show you how it all fits together. To test your knowledge of our virtual alphabet soup, can you decipher this statement? As a 21st century teacher, we should follow the county's DCP and the ISTE with the GAF and the TIM. Ooh, clearly, this video series has shown one clay has way too many acronyms.